A train has an average braking acceleration of 1.22 km per hour squared. So, under the 1.22 km per hour squared. Nakikita nyo may squared yan. So, automatically yan ay acceleration. What distance? What distance? Yan yung hinahanap. Would be required for it to stop. Ignore nyo rin yung word na stop. Ang rest kanina may ibig sabihin yun, initial velocity. Yung stop naman ay final velocity. So, lagay natin to. Ito naman, tuloy ko lang, from a speed of 40.2 km per hour. So, isulat natin mga given. So, 1.22 km per hour squared. Kung titignan mo yung unit niya, may squared. That is acceleration. Pag may squared. So, lagyan natin 1.22. May acceleration tayo. Distance, yan yung hinahanap. What distance? So, distance, wala. Yung word na stop, may ibig sabihin yan. Dalawa lang dapat tandaan ninyo. Yung rest, initial velocity ay zero. Pag stop, final velocity ay zero. So rest and stop. May ibig sabihin yan sa horizontal motion. Okay? Sila ay zero. Ito ay initial velocity. Ito ay final velocity. Next, from a speed. Speed of 40.2 km per hour. Ang speed daw natin or velocity Since may, may final velocity na Ito ay ilalagay natin initial velocity Speed din kasi ito, velocity rin yan So 40.2 km per hour Ito yung mga given, acceleration We have the distance Hinahanap pala yung distance Final velocity and initial velocity So let's look for the distance So ito ulit Bawal tong una kasi walang letter D dito. Itong pangalawa pwedeng gamitin. And also the third one. So solve natin. Sigay tayo. Lagyan natin yung given dito. Then, let's solve for the distance. So gamitin natin to ulit. Yung panghuli. Pwede rin to. Squared plus 2. Acceleration times distance. Sorry, mali ito. Mali yung sulat ko. So, ito pala, D equals initial velocity times time plus one half A T squared. So, pagta natin, distance sinahanap. The initial velocity is 40.2. Then, the time is Do we have the time? Okay, ito. Since wala itong time na ito, class. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin para itong formula na ito. Kasi, hindi pwedeng gumamit ng formula kung saan dalaway nawawala. Walang time, walang distance. Ibig sabihin, reject itong formula na ito. Okay? So, to get the distance, ito yung pwede mong gamitin. Option 2 mo. So, hindi natin pwede gamitin itong formula. Pagkasi tayo sa, pangalawa, sa isang formula, VF squared plus VI squared plus 2AD. So, VF is 0. Higyan mo 0 squared. Plus, initial velocity, 40.2. I'm sorry, equal sign para ito. Um, equal sign. Ganyan. Baboy. Isa pa. So, VF squared plus VI Ang tanga. Plus na yan. Equals VI squared plus 2AD So, ito. Pagta natin. Ang VF natin ay 0 squared. Equals initial velocity 40.2 squared plus lagi ng parenthesis to yung 2 copy lang acceleration eto class may bag may konti tayong pagbabago 
Dapat yung tandaan, pag gumamit tayo ng word na stop, yung acceleration natin, gagawin natin negative. Kasi kung ang isang bagay ay gumagalaw from this, tapos biglang huminto, ibig sabihin yung speed niya bumagal. Kaya siya huminto, kasi bumagal. Ibig sabihin nun ay deceleration. So ang acceleration mo dito, gagawin mong negative. So this will become negative. Okay? So negative 1.8. 22. Doon mo lang binagawang negative pag meron ka nakitang word na stop. Then, close parenthesis, distance is wala. Copy mo distance. Then, solve natin to. Formula. Ito mo na, 0 squared. Pag 0 yan, cancel mo na yan. So, walang natira sa kabila. Equals. Lagay natin to. 40.2 squared is Lagay ko lang 16, 16.04 plus times natin to 2 times negative 1.22. So ngayon, isusolve natin to the times lang natin. That is 2 times negative 1.22. So, that is equal to negative 2.44. So, lagyan natin dito, negative parenthesis, kasi may negative 44. Then, lagyan mo D. So, to solve for D, itong 1616.04, ibabalibag mo sa kabila, using balibag method. So, pag nagbalibag tayo, magbabago yung sign, magiging negative. So, ito magiging negative 1616. Ito yung babalibag natin na 0.04. Then, put equal sign, lagay natin to negative 2.44D. Okay, hindi natin kailangan ilagay yung parenthesis kasi wala naman na yung plus. Kasi nilipat na natin sa kabila. Then, divide both sides by negative 2. 44. Cancel to. Ang matitira ay lagay lang dito D equals So ito, di-divide lang natin. Pares naman negative yan, so magiging positive yan. So lagay natin negative 1616.04 divided by negative also 2.44 So the answer is 662.31 So the unit of this distance is yung kaninang ginamit natin given ay ito So since ang pang distance ito yung kilometer wag nyo lalagay ng R kasi distance ng to ang unit natin ay kilometer So sulat yun na lang ulit Kilometer That is the distance Covered. So that's how you solve the following problems in horizontal motion. We have this kind of formula. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep you updated. So thank you.